those students, we're going to learn how to hand in some work for homework or to respond to an assignment. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Google Classroom. Here's a quick tip for you to start off with. These are all the classes on the left hand side that I teach and these are the ones that I'm enrolled on. At the moment, Mr. Clark has let me join his 13D physics. What I'm going to do is, first of all, click my to-do list on my enrolled classes. And this should bring up a list of all the things that I need to hand in. Now, obviously, I've just joined the class, um, but already I can see that on the 17th of November, um, I owed a piece of work that was on medical traces. Okay. So I can see when things are overdue because it's actually the uh, 16th of December today. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to catch up with some of my old work and I'm going to choose one of these to respond to. So let's go to the nuclear SLOP. I can see that Mr. Clark has already set me um, a Word document. This is the work that he wants to, for me to complete. So I'm going to quickly click on that. And it should bring up some questions for me to do. Now, actually today, I don't want to respond to that particular piece of work. I want to show you how to hand in work that you've created elsewhere. So all I'm going to do is this. Say, for example, I've already done my piece of homework and I've used a Google Doc. I can see that in my Google Tutorials folder, this is where I keep all my homework. Um, I can see there's this piece of work here, which is my DNA homework. Now, when you're naming a piece of work, it's really useful to have your name and a short description of what the homework is. This will help me to find your piece of homework that much quicker and to, when I'm scanning through my folders, I know what the files are. Okay, so how do you hand in work? Well, first of all, I go to the Add or Create button here and I click, click the um, plus link. Then I know that the work is stored on my Google Drive. This is the easiest way to do it. You can upload from your hard drive on your computer or USB stick, but I prefer to use Google Drive. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on Google Drive. This will bring up a directory and all I'm going to do is I've already seen it. It's in my recent or I could search for it by clicking through the different folders in my Google Drive. For now, I'm just going to go to the recent area and I'm going to click on that piece of work. And click add. And now it's done. And all I do now is I must remember to click the hand in button. Once I've clicked the hand in button, then I know that that piece of work is being received by me. Okay, so by, by the, your teacher, I should say. The one thing I don't want you to do is to share the work like this. I do not want you to share that work. So if I click open this piece of work here on Google Docs, I don't want to click the share button because all it will do will get lost in my shared folder. And when I look on my Google Classroom to check your work, it will be missing um, from your actual assignment. So that's no good to either of us. Okay, so hopefully you understand um, how to hand in work. The first thing is to add or create and the second thing is to click the hand in button. If you want to check what work is due to keep yourself organized go to your enrolled classes and your to-do list and you can see all of the assignments that are due or up and coming. Okay.